Hi, funny chicken poop here. Um, let me get my computer situated to face the screen. This might take a little bit. I never should have done this before. But, okay. So today, here, okay. fix this. Today, I am going to be showing you how to create a pivot stick figure animation. And I'm going to be showing you one of mine. So today, wait, um, you click on pivot. I know you can't really see that, what it looks like, but there should be a stick figure sort of like this on it, and it says pivot stick figure animator. So um, I go full screen and click on options to change the uh, thing, and uh, uh, see. And you should be able to get something like this, and that will pop up. Now that's how you change. I do 900 on top and 600 on bottom, which is the width and height. And it should leave you. You click OK. It should leave you with something like this. Wait for it. Hold on. Like that. That way it's you know full screen, everything. Making sure you see it. Yeah. Okay. Now. Uh, so right about, um, you know, over here in this area, you should see something that says add figure and delete and edit and center and flip and play and, you know, all that and like a little bar with the down arrow. Well, first you under current figure, which you can click on and change, um, where, you know, like, you can edit, you click on the red dots to move his arms and you move him around with the orange one in the center, move his head, all that. Okay, well you can click delete to delete the one that you are currently over. You can, you click, like you can get more um, stick people or guns, whatever, and um, you can click on that button right here. And there should be a list if you have more than one. And um, so you click on add figure to add the figure you have selected. You can edit it. Like you can make it fat by clicking on the circle and doing that. And you know, you can give it a second head. You can click center. Like if you move it, say I move it. I want to, for that frame, I want to move it over there. You click center and it'll reappear if it's standing like in the corner right like right here then you can click center and it'll bring it to the center you can flip it so if i have it like this you click flip and it like it's like a mirror you can change the color of it don't do red or this orange this orange um you know makes it to where you can't see and the red over here it's up here it's the darkest red Oops. Up here, it's the darkest red to right here, and then the orange right here. Those two are the bad ones. The red, I already explained the orange red because you can't really see the joints, and you can change the um, uh, you know, the size of it by clicking right here, and um. What that does, you can change it to 60, you can change it to 600, 6,000, or you could bring it back to normal size, which is 100. And I'm going to change the color back to black, how you guys can see it easier, and me too. So, there you go, and you can add as many things as you want, I'm going to click it two more times. As you can see, two more figures appear. So order for you to you know totally change it you can you know change it, whatever um the front and back some of these have 3d images for next frame click next frame and up here um you know there you have the next frame and you can move them around and the gray will appear of where they were previously so you click next frame and that disappears 
to where they were. So you can change them around, do whatever you can make some, a big, a bigger one, juggle three smaller ones. And I'm gonna delete these by right clicking and click delete. Or you can click insert to create it again. Okay, now you click on file, which is up here. I know you can't see it on this. And you can click open animation, which I'm going to do, to open my zombie apocalypse video. And um, you can save it, name it, do whatever. And then I will show you Blender, which is um, something I downloaded today and is totally different from this. And then I will show you, but before that, I will show you, show you how to make new um, people and uh, how to change the speed, which is over here. Change the speed, you click stop, replay, whatever. And um, right now it's the slowest and it's not what I'm used to, so I'm going to speed it up a little bit. And you can also add sound effects. And I don't have internet for the desktop. I'm videotaping on my laptop. So, um, you know. And, um, so before I show you Blender, I am going to show you how to, uh, you know, create a, like, um, you know, like create a new stick figure and name it and all of that. So I will let this finish one more time. Okay. So... You click on file, you click create figure type, which is right above exit at the bottom. And you guys see, here's a person, you can click file, save it, save as, add to animation, which adds it, but does not save it. You can click new, which is at the very top, which I did. And you can click on the line, there should be like a plus sign. You click on one of the, the either the orange or the red dot, and you create another line. Click the circle one and click on the orange or red dot to do that, to make a circle. And then you can click options, edit mode, which you can shorten, like do this and make it all weird and like, you know, make it a hump. And then you can like also click undo move, which, you know, if you edit it and you do this and you don't want that to happen, you can do that. And you can click parallel lines to create something parallel. And, you know, kind of move it. There. And then, hold on. So you have this. I'm gonna, and you can also do, like, array. Like, you know, move it. You can also delete a line. Like, if you make one you don't want that, and it's like, oops, I didn't want that to happen, you delete it, and it's selected. And you can create the thickness of it, like if I want this one to be thicker than that one, you, there are two arrows, you can make it thinner, or you can make it thicker. So, um, and you save it by clicking, um, by clicking, uh, um, I'll create figure type. Click File, Save As, type in your name, I'm going to do Tut for a tutorial, and it should save. And then, um, what you can do, you can click Load Figure Type, and I have all of these, like I have a 50 cal, and you can edit the size, or um, you can open up this. And uh, that's, so that's pretty much how you do that. Next, I'm going to show you that Blender thing is down here and this should pop up okay 2.61 is harder and tell you the truth I don't even know how to do this so as you can see um, you can move it around do this make it go higher make it go low um, I'm going to figure out how to do this and make a tutorial for blender so you know there you go thank you for watching have a good day. Funny chicken poop here. Subscribe, link, share, do whatever. Just don't flag.